It's Fox and Friends. That, that That's not necessarily a bad thing. Thank you. All right, 20 minutes after the top of the hour, straight ahead, stock market futures down again this morning. Real estate woes have been battering the street along with mortgage concerns. But we're going to tell you how you can make a fortune from the uptick in foreclosure. So far, nearly a million homes have been foreclosed in 2007. It's a big problem for some, but others can stand to make a big profit. Kendra Todd, author of Risk and Grow Rich, How to Make Millions in Real Estate, and the winner of season three of The Apprentice, joins us now live from West Palm Beach, Florida. Good morning to you, Kendra. Good morning, Gretchen. You know, correction is a normal part of any investment cycle. And as we all know, smart buyers jump into the market when everyone else is jumping out. And now is the time to capitalize on this incredible advantage we have as buyers getting these foreclosed properties instead of waiting for the market to stabilize. Yeah, because we could reach 2 million foreclosures. That would be an increase of 65% from last year. A lot of that, of course, has to do with subprime loans that are defaulting. But the good news is that if you are a buyer out there, a prospective buyer, you can cash in on this. Let's look a, uh, at some of your tips. You say get a list of properties that are foreclosed or will be foreclosed on. How do you do that? Well, it's all public record. That's what's incredible about it. You can go down to your county courthouse and you can get a list of properties that are going to auction. Actually, the best deals you're going to get before they've reached that point, if you deal directly with the banks, they're the ones feeling the squeeze of the credit crunch most of all, or if you intercept and deal with homeowners before they even reach the pre-foreclosure stage. But you can get a list of properties, go check out the properties, make sure there's no physical deterioration, determine how much you're willing to spend for those properties, and don't go over that. Be willing to walk away. Always buy below market value. That's the big thing here. This is what we need to be capitalizing on. You say set a limit for how much you want to pay because, and you say do this before it goes to auction, because at the auction, once your bid wins, it's yours, right? That's exactly right. And there's something important people need to know. Just because a property is being foreclosed upon doesn't make it a great deal. You have to do your research. You need to know what the property's worth. You need to set that limit for how much you're willing to pay or walk away. And you also mentioned buy the property below market value. I guess that seems sensible, although some people may not do their research. Is that what you're saying, to know what the market value is? You need to do the comps. It's a little tricky right now because while default rates are rising, home prices are falling. So that's why it's important to set a bar maybe 30% below market value where you're not willing to pay any more than that for the property. All right, so good news for some, bad news for others, but a way to capitalize. Kendra Todd, great to talk to you this morning. Thanks for the tips.